वेलकम बैक गाइस दिस इज क्वेश्चन 3.21 ऑफ चैप्टर 3 एंड द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ इट इज कंसीडर द डेंसिटी फंक्शन व्हिच इज f of x k स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ x एंड दैट इज इन द रेंज ऑफ 0 टू 1 एंड इट इज 0 एल्सवेयर ओके सो व्हाट डू वी हैव टू डू देयर इज पार्ट ए एंड पार्ट बी इन पार्ट ए वी हैव टू इवैल्यूएट k ओके और फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ k and in part b you find fx and use it to evaluate this value okay so now let me start it from part a and let me solve it here this is the solution okay let me solve it here and in solving it we have this function in the range of uh, this value and we can very clearly see that in this range the cumulative function or the cumulative value of this function would be what that would be one that would be one in between these ranges okay so what do we have to do here this is basically capital f of x and that is the cumulation from 0 to 1 and i have to write the value of f of x where k x and i have to integrate it in this range okay i can very clearly see that the value of it in this range the value of it in this range would be how much this would be one okay so let me write this value here and this would be one and here this k is constant let me keep it outside and here integrating it from 0 to 1 okay this is what and here this square root of x is basically x to the power 1 by 2 d of x okay now calculating it what i will get here it will be 1 is equal to what integrating it would be 1 plus 1 by 2 divided by 1 plus 1 by 2 so it would be x 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 okay and here I also have this k because here I have k. Okay. So now let me use it. Okay. And here keep multiplying both sides by this 3 by 2. What I will get? I will get here 3 by 2 is equal to the k x 3 by 2. Okay. And here as these were the ranges in which I have to integrate. So therefore, here I also had. 0 1 which will also be here 0 and 1 okay now putting these values here for x what i will get here i will get 3 by 2 is equal to k and here this would be 1 3 by 2 minus 0 3 by 2 okay and ultimately the value of k will be what the value of k will be 3 by 2 so that is what that is the solution of part a of our question okay in which we have found out the value which is 3 by 2 now proceeding towards the part b of our question the part b of our question is we have to find f of x in order to find the f of x what do i have to do now i know the value of k which is already known so what do i have to do i have to integrate my function from the starting point up to any point let me take it x as we have done previously so this x is any point in between 0 and 1 if i will take the value of x and put it in this function which i will find now i will get the cdf of that function okay this f of x capital f of x is basically the cdf now i have to write the value of k and after it let me represent this x which is in the actual equation with another variable and let me take as t okay so let me take it t and this would be t square root and integrate it with respect to t as well okay so now integrating it and then finding the values because now the value of k is already known and that is that is 3 by 2 so taking this 3 by 2 out of this and here we will have 0 to x and this would be t 1 by 2 dt or integrating it all over what i will get it will i get 3 by 2 multiplied by here this will be t 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 okay these two will cancel out and here i will have the range which is 0 to x okay so now uh, here what I will get here this f for this f of x what I will have here this is t 3 by 2 and 
first putting the higher range which is x 3 by 2 and then from it 0 3 by 2 what i will get here i will get x 3 by 2 which is the cdf in the range of 0 to 1 okay or mathematically or uh, i can also write it like let me write these values okay this of of x is what this f of x is 0 for the value of x less than 0 okay it is equal to x 3 by 2 for the range where x is greater or equal to 0 and less than 1 and it is 1 for all the range where x is greater or equal to 1 okay so these are all the values which i had to find out this is 1 okay so this is the cdf of the function which i had to find out okay after it what do we have to find out we have to find the value that probability of x is greater than 0 0.3 and less than 0 0.6 and in finding it out let me find it out here and here it will be probability of x is greater than 0 0.3 and less than what 0 0.6 okay so here it will be what here in using the cdf what i have to write i have to find the cdf of the higher value which is 0 0.6 and from it i have to subtract the lower point which is 0 0.3 okay now putting their values i know the values which are here so this is x 3 by 2 or 0 0.6 3 by 2 because now the value of x is 0 0.6 and putting the uh, power of it 3 by 2 and also 0 0.3 and the power of it is 3 by 2 okay then evaluating it what i will get the answer of it would be 0 0.3 double zero four which is the solution of part b of my question okay so that's it for today in which we have found the solution of question 3.21 if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon